Today, an activist instructed myself to file a petition against the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency uh, Kashagwa, for the utterances that he made in regard to the Director General of National Intelligence Services 1, Nurdin Haji. In the utterances of the Deputy President, he alludes that the, uh, the Director General, Juan Nurdin Haji, is the reason as to why the security apparatus failed to contain the type of uh, demonstrations that resulted into the forceful occupation of uh, Parliament. He alleges that Juan Nurdin failed to give the President proper advice on how to contain that demonstration. In the Deputy President's allegations, the third one, he says that his source of information are senior police officers. I have filed a petition challenging the National Cohesion plus the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to investigate the Deputy President, one, on those utterances. The basis of my petition is that, one, the Director General of NIS does not report at all to the Deputy President. He reports strictly only to the President of the Republic of Kenya. Therefore, any form of information any form of intelligence reports are only for the conception of the president, not the deputy president. Number two, the deputy president sits at the National Security Council, where the director general, Juan Urdin Haji, sits. This is a matter that was supposed to have been dealt with in that uh, committee. The deputy president has failed on that. The utterances of the deputy president smack on defamation of one Nurdin Haji. Everybody is aware that one Nurdin Haji was the director of public prosecution at the time the deputy president was arrested and he was arraigned in court. The charge sheet was approved by one Nurdin Haji. Two, the charges again were withdrawn when one Nurdin Haji was still the, deputy, uh, the director of public prosecution. So we read malice. We, we read that the deputy president is out to revenge on the director general of NIS out of the charges that were preferred against him. But remember, those charges were withdrawn under section 87A, which every lawyer knows that they can be reinstated as and when, any time, there is evidence that the deputy president needs to be taken to court. Number two, the utterances of the deputy president smack on raw ethnicity. The concept of shareholding, that the government belongs to one, two communities, that is hate speech. The utterances of the deputy president to the effect that he has put traps around state house. He has put traps around to arrest citizens who are supposed to go to state house. We are, as we are seeking the cohesion team. When the deputy president is saying he has put traps on a public place, state house is a public place, where anybody can go, what will that be? So we are concerned, and we have filed that petition. We shall also be seeking to file another suit for defamation, because the utterances of the deputy president are more defamatory to Mr. Nurdin Haji than any other person. So we will file the defamation matter by close of business 
today, but you have filed the petition, uh, the first petition for now, because that is inciting the citizens against a critical national organ called the National Intelligence Services. It is so critical that anybody instigating against the disbandment of that entity or to bring ridicule to that entity contravenes Chapter 6 of the Constitution. We hope this will get the deputy president that if he has wars with his boss, the president, he should not interfere with the public officers. The public officers are protected pursuant to Article 232 of the Constitution. One Urdin Haji has done his job based on his competence and based on his mandate, which are constitutional mandate. Vileni Livoelezea ni kwamba seat of government, that is the state house, and the president was at state house. His deputy was supposed to be at state house. Mombasa is not a place where the seat of government is there. Remember, history is alive that any time you see a vice president in Mombasa addressing a media after the president has done, that was done when President Moi addressed um, a press conference at State House and Kibaki, his vice president, uh, addressed a, a media briefing in Mombasa where he resigned. So if like, Shawa was addressing a presser away from State House, the only thing that you could have said, he has resigned the way Kibaki did. So I don't want to be involved in the politics of the day. It was bad taste. This country needs a united government. It cannot operate on two fronts. The president says this, the deputy says this. The president says he was briefed properly by security organs. The deputy president is saying he was not briefed properly. The president has not complained that any security organ failed to advise him. Who is the deputy president to raise an issue that the president has not been properly briefed? The president is the one who can complain that I have not been briefed. There is information that the president cannot share with his deputy. Therefore, that allegation does not have any legal basis. Tumeweza kupewa instructions ya kwenda mahakamani na mwanaharakati mmoja Frederick Bikeri kumshtaki yule ambaye ni naibu wa rais kwa kueneza uvumi kwa kueneza chuki kwa kueneza eh, eh, mambo ambayo hayafai amba eh, didi ya kiongozi wa serikali mkono wa National Intelligence Services ambaye ni, ni Nurdin Haji jambo ambalo tumegusia zaidi ni kwamba amefanya ule Nurdin Haji kuonekana kama hadhi yake imerudishwa kitu ambacho kinaitwa defamation tutamshtaki kwa kudefame Nurdin Haji pili tumeweza kushtaki asasi za serikali ile ya kulinda ESCC sababu naibu wa rais ameweza kuvunja sheria za chapter 6 pili tumeweza kushtaki ile asasi ya national cohesion ambayo ni commission ya kuchunga wale ambao wanaeneza chuki za kikabila chuki ambazo zinazaleta damu na umwagikaji wa damu katika taifa la Kenya kwa hivyo petition yenyewe tutaipeana na tunangojea hakimu majaji waweze kuweka kutupatia zile oda za kumzuia naibu wa rais asiweze kuendelea kusema anayoyasema sababu ni kinyume na kiapo alichokula sababu Nurdin Haji hana jukumu lolote la kumpatia security details ama intelligence reports kwa sababu yeye sio rais wa taifa Now.